I'm gonna give you guys a, a good, a very important warning. I wanna talk about guys for a second. When a guy tell you he's in a relationship, when he says, I'm married, when he says, I'm not ready, when he says, I'm not available, when he says he's taken, when he says that I don't want anything serious, there's no more conversation needs to be had. And it's not just guys, I'm talking about women too. When you a woman says that or when a man says that, nothing that comes after means anything. Nothing that comes after those statements makes a big difference. Nothing that comes after the statement, whether, well, you know, my wife is sick so I can't leave, or I'm, I'm there for the kids, or I'm there until my kids get older, or I'm, you know, I'm, I'm married but I'm not happy, or I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the process of leaving, or I'm in the process of having a divorce. Nothing that comes after means nothing. It's not important, it ain't your business, it's irrelevant, it is pointless. Why do you continue the conversation? Why do you listen? Why do you care? What difference does it make? See, that's how people get hurt. That's how a lot of you guys and gals get hurt because somebody is telling you, I am taken, I am in a relationship, but you want to understand the situation so that you can bring in your own judgment, your own understanding, so that your feelings good. But I like you, I like him, I like him a whole lot. I like, I really like him. I This is my soulmate because we click and we connect so good. So there must be something God is telling me. God is telling me that this is it, but I have to have patience. God ain't, God, God ain't giving you no, nobody's husband. God ain't giving you no confusion. God ain't hurting nobody else. Y'all gotta stop with this stuff, man. A lot of you hurt yourself because somebody is telling you, listen, at least I was honest, right? At least I'm honest. I told you I had somebody. Two years from now, you will hear the same story. I, I told you, I, I, you know, I have, a, I have a wife. I told you that I have a woman. I told you I live at home. I told you that the kids ain't grown yet. I told you that I can't leave yet. I told you that I got things going on. I told you, stop trying for, stop waiting for years and years just to be, just to hear the same story. I told you, I, you know, I told you, I, I told you that we're just friends. I told you. When you hear people say, I'm not ready, I'm not a commitment type person, I, I, I have a woman, I have a wife, I have a girlfriend, that's your cue to exit out. But some of you all want to invest some time and then get stuck talking about, uh, uh, I found out. Listen, even if you are, listen, I'm going to be real. Some people don't want to tell you this up front. They don't want to tell you that they have a woman, they have a wife up front. They want to wait until three, four months in when you start catching feelings. Because a man know when you start catching feelings, you're stuck, because you know you're all in your feelings. One thing about the woman's feelings, they lie to her. They they don't, y'all don't listen to anything but besides your feelings. You don't listen to logics. You don't listen to facts. You don't listen to nothing that makes sense. Only your feelings make sense to you, and that's why only you get hurt always as much. So a person will wait until months, a couple months to tell you that they have someone, but it's not serious, you know, he's not going anywhere, but me and you, and then by the time two months come, you're already in your feelings. You're talking about, oh, but I like you already. I'm already in love with you. You're so nice. You are so kind. That's the exact why, reason why they are being kind and they are being nice. Because if they were so kind and so nice, their current relationship would have been working. Their current wife or their girlfriend or the woman that they are messing with would have been happy and they would have been content and everything else. You all don't think logically. You all think with your feelings. So they wait until two, three months later to tell you that they have somebody and now they know that your feelings are stuck and you can't leave, you can't break away because you just can't because you have emotional this and you have feelings and I, I feel, I feel, I feel, blah, blah, blah. and then bam, you talking about I feel stuck, what should I do, what am I supposed to do? The truth is you already know what to do but you can't do it because your feelings are too damn strong, stronger than your self-respect. You hear me? Stronger than your self-respect. When you hear some people say that they have somebody, they are married, they live with somebody, live with a baby mama, why do you care? If you entertain the foolishness, you're gonna stop judging the situation. You're gonna think that everything is fine because you're gonna hear keep, because one thing that their words will do is it confuse you. Cause that ain't their first time explaining themselves. They have explained themselves to many different women to a way that they make them understand and fall in that trap and bam, this burn the hell out of you. It's, you know, it's like a bee or a fly going into a damn, a fly catcher. It looks good. Every single time. It sounds good every single time. And bam, it zaps your ass. That's why you always hurt. So when you hear a man say, I'm married, but 
I'm, you know, I'm in a relationship, I'm in this. If you hear a butt afterwards, that butt ain't yours. Fine, take your ass, take your butt and go take a seat somewhere else. That butt ain't your problem. Stop doing that foolishness and, and, and blame him and blame the situation and this and start hating his wife. It's Cause some of y'all will hear things about a woman and hate that woman before you really realize that he's the one who ain't shit. And I'm talking based on experience, by the way. I'm just telling you, be careful. Be careful out there in the streets. Peace.